Hi friends, so we did see, we introduced ourselves uh, to machine learning, uh, we did see how we can do statistical modeling, regressions, uh, we did see some supervised learning, basic supervised learning models uh, like uh, SVM, uh, naive Bayes, decision trees, uh, random forest, uh, we, we, we did see and then we went into uh, on to supervi unsupervised learning on, on k-means, hierarchical uh, uh, clustering and then principal component analysis. Uh, with all of these, one of the most important area which is, is, is uh, truly an asset to machine learning is, is neural networks. Uh, now that has a, a, a lot of uh, theory uh, behind it. So I would introduce you to it but, but only in a bit. So if you want to learn more about neural networks and introduce yourself and understand what they do and how they do, I would advise you to, to just visit a, a link uh, of, on a paper for, for, for this magazine I have, I have uh, written uh, all about how what neural network is. I have introduced to neural network the, the background of, of perceptron and, and a cell. I have revisited the logistic regression and what uh, it is and how it actually forms the basic uh, of, of, of the basis of neural networks, the perceptron and the history. I have explained uh, how artificial neural network model works uh, at different layers, what was the anomaly of, of ZOR gate and how that, that problem was solved with multi-layer neural network. Uh, and then I went on to, uh, to uh, explain the backward propagation and then multi-class neural network, how uh, you would use a multi-class neural network to classify your your data into different classes so essentially this video is going to be uh, more hands-on than anything so what we uh, what we will go is, is is an r we will again uh, look at how we can use uh, neural networks to be able to classify the data and and, and then uh, again we, sh we can just go ahead with with the uh, iris data set here so just remember to to import your neural net libraries here and once you've done that uh, we can just go ahead and let's say we can import the iris data set um, let's just take a look a brief look at at the header of the iris data set um, what we do is okay now now this is where we stand so we have this iris data set and now we have the species to, if we were to choose neural network to be able to essentially classify this data well enough, we would have to flatten the the samples for multi-class because this virus has three species and we want to essentially uh, evaluate and label these three species of incoming data. So we will have to flatten how we do that. This is a very important point that we have to use class dot and r. And, and what this would do for you is it will flatten the data against the input. So if you see here, the the data would itself be, itself become an attribute. And for the ones uh, which are labeled as Sentosa, you would find a, a one. So that's flagged. Uh, that's important. So I hope. I, if uh, I wanted to pay some attention to it next we can just go on and uh, let's uh, use the data sampling and, and prepare our training and test data set so what we are doing is we are splitting the data into 80 and 20 80 percent would be our training data set uh, while the rest of the 20 would be our test so let's do that uh, and there you go we have we will be testing our data with 30 records and 20, 120 of them would be our training the next important part is the neural net where we are making a call so what we are saying is these are the three labels uh, we want to determine based on these four attributes and this is the training data set that we are passing and then we are using one hidden layer of, of uh, the neural net and what we have is we have four different input parameters and we say the hidden layer would contain three nodes and then it would split out and spit three different nodes so let's let's train it 
and what should happen is your your neural net should converge that is the most important part your if, if your neural net doesn't converge uh, that would not be uh, something that you can bank on the result would would be ambiguous so yeah so we have been able to train it uh, once you have been able to train uh, let's just take a look at i mean we will try to uh, compute the results the results as, as data frame so what you hear and then, then we will add the column names and then take a look at the results so see what you see here is is the result set has numbers uh, what it ideally means is is just the chance of of this data being a centosa this ad, uh, attribute being a centosa versicular or virginica so what you ideally have to do is just look out for the max the max is the one which you'll score so what what this statement does is from those records it just takes the max value so let's say for this record what we would say is we'll pick the max value from these three and use that label so we will say essentially this is centosa for us so we'll do this for all of the data and then convert that into a data frame so if you see here if i may those are the scores of the 30 different uh, test data set so next what we do is for the test data set also we score it and then we will compare it on the table what was the correct ones so if you see here uh, we have been able to identify everything i mean almost everything is is, is bang on is is just that one record uh, which is versicular and which which the neural net has identified as virginica so uh, if you see uh, if i can plot the neural net for you let's take a look at, at at the neural net so if you see here these are the four input parameters and then we have the weights the the, the edges the numbers on the edges are the weights and and the that the blue arrows are the the biases on the nodes so you'll have biases on the nodes and the number on the edges is is your weights we have a hidden layer we have one hidden layer and that hidden layer uh, has three nodes and it spits out the the, the classification for for uh, the the species and the number of states uh, steps that is required to train is, is 16243 and the error of 0 0.43 so uh, that's overall the neural net now now let's take a look at uh, at the convergence problem that we uh, we kind of uh, uh, just mentioned but we didn't see so let's uh, try to add one more layer if i put a comma and say a two that means i'm adding two hidden layers to train my model now let's rerun my model this would take uh, a little more time because we essentially have added one more hidden layer and uh, it would take longer to kind of uh, optimize uh, the weights and the the biases so i would just pause on my video okay so this is what i was trying to show and uh, this warning message so when you put another layer here what you see is your algorithm did not converge that means the calc it, it, it did it, it just didn't converge to a, a particular value to be able to classify the three different classes so you would have to rephrase your model that means essentially for for this you are making an incorrect calculation so maybe if, what what if what if i just added a 4 and a single layer with four input and a hidden layer, layer with four nodes can this algorithm converge oh yes it did so now let's try to take a look there you go so it just needed 352 steps but the error is pretty high the error is pretty high so in that case if i use the rest of the code if I use the rest of the code 
the results are just overfitted so so we have because the error is high we get we kind of get a get a, a, a bad result so that's all it means so here you, there you go the results are pretty obscure so just just let's just take a look at at uh, alternately the, the titanic uh, data set which i kind of uh, have uh, used neural net again to train it so this is overall titanic uh, data set and uh, we have uh, about rec uh, records uh, we want to predict uh, the uh, survived versus non survived so if you see uh, the head of titanic data set so there you go you have the age number of siblings parents classes uh, in which they traveled the, the female male and embarked so you will have to flatten the data accordingly and then we have the survived and the non survived so based on this we are trying to predict uh, the we are trying to train a neural net so i have optimized this uh, with with one layer uh, and 11 nodes and i kind of got the best results of it with, with this uh, about 80 plus percent of accuracy so there you go so the neural net is trained now let's that's the neural net for you and those are the results so if you see here those are the predictions so we are wrong with 8 plus 24 records the rest of them are pretty much in line and we are we, right here so so yeah i mean that's just a sample so i've done this for for multiple uh, uh, data sets the titanic one the iris and uh, also the wine data set so yeah we can we can use the neural net this was a basic introduction we could we would further uh, take a look uh, into different kind of neural nets and how further we can train them uh, to, to use them appropriately in, in advanced and deep learning modules thank you